Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Watch Your Realms video. So, we put Carnelian uh, just yesterday and I uh, thought it would be a good chance to actually showcase her because uh, when we looked at her reviews, we realized that she's very highly rated in sustain and single target DPS and I thought, you know, with the sustained DPS um, it arena going on, why not I build her up and you know try to work around uh, gearing her up and also see what skill ups we get on her and so far it's been good. I think uh, just head on to arena. We haven't done much to be honest but uh, on arena we have been 100% successful with our defense here so far. And um, I mean, I was gonna showcase on this video how, uh, how busted she is, uh, especially when you pair with a Valeria, but I'm afraid I'll tank a loss, you know, when I actually swap her out. So yeah, we'll see how we can go about that. And of course, afterwards, I can showcase the gear of the uh, Canelian and the other heroes I have. But in terms of skill ups, I think uh, pretty unlucky we didn't get anything into her ultimate but we did get uh this uh energy refraction up to level four so level three was the most important for me if i couldn't get it to level five because that increases the bounce and uh the more bounces there are the more chance that you can you know actually get the unyielding state up uh, as much as possible so without further ado let's do this um let's head in I'll try to pick a wicker opponent because I don't want to end up, you know. This looks like a bait team, to be honest. I think he's going to be dealing a lot of damage, actually, to most of these mobs. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll try this team instead. Yep, and uh, as I mentioned, I have to remove her because I want to showcase the difference. Maybe we can lose this round and that will essentially showcase, you know, the difference. Yeah, let's get into it. So how I've been doing this is that I'll place Valeria down first. Uh, she's gonna be plopped right down here. And let's pop Salaza down next. Okay, all good so far. Yep. And we're gonna plop Elowin down next because Valeria won't survive the next next wave, which is those huge golems. Pops her out a little bit too late. I don't think this will be in time for the second wave of lizards to, you know, pop right away. That's okay. We'll make it work. Let's pop Elowin down here. Ah, shucks. Yeah, the one bad thing about Elowin as well is that. She's not gonna make it to the. Uh, she's not gonna reach like Salazar. Okay, just wipes that wave immediately. And then we're gonna pop Silas down next. I think that's what we normally do, anyways. Yep. I don't think we're doing much damage, to be honest. And pop Silas out here ASAP. Okay, yeah. Now he's popping off. Let me try to kill this before the last guy goes down. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, not as much damage as I would have hoped. Obviously, the other lineup looks a lot better. You will see in just a second. Okay. This is a tough wave. Just gonna pop down the heal for Salazar. This guy's wave is okay, he has Vortex, so that's fine. Yeah, okay, Salazar's gonna die. No, yeah, I think we lose. I don't think we can actually even win the next wave. Because we're just not putting out enough damage compared to the other rounds. And Salazar was not in heal range. I, I I screwed that up. Okay, 
Let's pop this. Should I get down? No, it's not going to be in time for the other mod. Okay. One that round at least. This is going to be tough. I think he's able to clear this because he has um, Abomination. That's probably Abomination's um, second out. Pop is out. Okay, Salazar is back up. Um, let's place him here. The problem here is that um, Silas needs to kill this guy before it's too late. Let me handle it. Okay, that's a problem. We have one guy sipping through. I mean, this guy has two golems, so he's probably going to die before. Let's just fast forward this. So, really sketchy as you can see. I mean, I should probably play Salazar here instead because the heal doesn't reach. And I totally forgot about that. Because uh, Carnelian has a different heal range. But it's okay. Let's just get this completed. And okay, we still did win. That's fine. And let's just have a look at the stats. So, 8 million, 5 million, 13 million respectively. But bearing in mind that this lasted to stage um, 6, round 6 of the arena. Normally with Carnelian it just lasts around um, I think four or five. But yeah, let's let's do a round with Carnelian. It felt really uncomfortable doing it that way because I was so used to Carnelian, such an OP unit. Let's place her down. Okay. And let's do this again. This guy is a comet. Should be a formidable opponent, I think. Rough down, that's pretty standard. Most people have that. Okay. Then um, this guy down. Yeah. See, it's just way faster because Valeria's um, pass is just so low, you know, in the arena. Then we can pop. Yep, out. That's nice. And we're gonna pop Carnelian down next. It's okay because she's not going to heal. What she's going to do instead is uh, she's going to be uh, providing the unyielding bounce. So she does still like do her um, do her heals. It's just that it doesn't actually heal. But you will see a red up in a bit. So that means that yeah, the unyielding state will be popped if let's say any of the any of the units actually uh, reach HP below the threshold. Let's place Silas down here. Yep, so because Valeria popped her out just now, so... Okay. Can see? Yeah, that's the green part, that's the heal. So the heals only come out at that point. And Gun is just the last. And see, keeping Valeria at such low health is just doing a bit ton of damage. That's 164k per hit. So all of them have the unyielding state now. And let's just pop Silas out here. As well as uh, Mr. Salazar. I'm not gonna pop Valeria's out. Not really required yet. I normally save it for the next stage, which is round 5. I think that gives us the victory. So I know it's going to be a bit unfair to do the comparison, but let's just see. This is at round 4, bearing in mind. Let's see the damage disparity. So... There we go. 10 million, 4 million, and 2 million. 
what what was it on the previous one? We were around six and Valeria was only at like what um, ten million. So not sure if you can tell, but the damage that she does is a lot different compared to you know uh when she's at 30% HP. So if we want to do a fair comparison, we saw that 160k hit each time Valeria attacks. So let's see what she does on full HP instead. So let's challenge this guy. I mean, he has uh, Valeria as well, so maybe we'll do the same stuff. I'm just gonna put on auto fight. Ah, okay. I can't really see, but I think it was 90k. Okay, that guy is way faster than me because he plays Valeria at the front. That was like 60 or 70k, I think. Okay, so we cleared that first. I'm gonna place down Silas next. We might have to switch off auto because uh, I need to see how this uh, works. Yep, just hitting for 150, 160k once the damage reaches that range. Okay, gonna have to pop Silas's out here. Oops, quick miss. I think his units are just placed more front than ours. Okay, but we still won that round. Nice! Yeah, he has his units at the front compared to us. I think that's the main difference. But look at the damage. It's coming out instantly. Yep, he's gonna clear that for sure. That's fine. He's on a lower percentage. Now we are, but let's see if we clear this mobs. Looks like we might not clear in time. Let's see. Yeah, the mobs are just not reaching in time, which is unfortunate. And we're just losing solely because of placement differences. Yeah, this guy is strong. I mean... Oops, Valeria didn't pop her out in time. Yeah, but this guy's winning for sure. It's, it's just a matter of placement issues. I haven't been able to find a spot where, you know, I can do this line up at the front. So yeah, that didn't work as well as we uh, thought. But let's just have a look at the damage graph. Yep, you can see Valeria is still all the way up at the top. I mean, her Valeria does way more damage because uh, she has hollow for extra rage and is in the battle gear as well and i can't seem to find a way to place valeria better so yeah that's that's a toughie for now let's see i can't even see her stats right yeah we can't i mean we could try again with a different placement but uh wary of how that will turn out but let's just try i mean this is all the videos about Essentially, we just experimented. So, yeah, he plays Valeria down here. Let's just do exactly the same. Okay, he popped Valeria's out. I think that's the main difference here, honestly. Oh, well, we cleared it this time before him. Interesting. Okay, that's a win. Oh, 
Okay, now the problem is Valeria might actually die. So let's hope Camillion can do her magic. Uh, not sure if she survived. I don't think so. Oh, she did. Nice. Okay. And we forgot to pop Salazar's out and all that, you know. Let's do this placement. Yeah. This unit's come out from here anyways. Gonna be close. Okay, we did it in time. Nice. Will we actually win this round? I hope. So this is the round where we have to pop Silas's out. Yep. Doing a lot better this time around. Looks like this placement works. So thank you, Mr. Kikoze. You found a new method for me to play. Like this placement. Okay, so that's a problem, not having the Let's see if we can kill before he kills the second guy. Okay, we did. I think that's a win. Is that a win? Yeah, that's a win. Nice. Okay, we learned something new today. So, yep. Looks like this new placement works a lot better. And, um, yeah, we secured that victory. And let's see the damage charts again. I mean, yeah. This way it looks a lot more like, you know, Valeria is doing all the work. And I mean, that's intentional. And of course, yeah, Canadian is just not doing as much heal because she does it at... Uh, you know, uh, thirty percent threshold. You can see it when the green numbers actually pop up. So, we can do a couple more auto fights to see how it goes. I think the results will be a lot better. I mean, with that new placement, and that guy was actually pretty strong. Yeah, I think uh, Valeria does sixty k damage by default at hundred percent HP. But at 30%, that's 163k, so it's a very big difference if you ask me. Okay, I just want to place, stop the auto fight here because I want to use Salazar's out. Because he has Sobao Akana on, so yeah, it just makes sense to do that. Silas is down here. Yeah, he's, she's hitting for 100,000 100, per second. Okay. It's nice. You only got one mob down. And then we place down Mr. Gun last. And yeah, for some reason the double clicks in a bit glitchy. Let's pop this out as well. Secure the victory there. Okay, nice. We forgot to pop Salazar's out there just now, so I just thought it'd be nice if we can replay that and you know get that straight. Look at the damage shots here. Yep. Still the MVP. And let us knock the last guy out as well. Hopefully. This guy looks a bit cheesy. I mean he has Laura, who is the rich regen queen, you know, when you despawn her, so I don't know. We shall see. I mean, there's a huge BP difference, but I think that's just because her Laura is probably uh, not equipped with anything. 
Yeah, look at that damage. It's way more than what my Ballerina is doing. This little two is just nuts. Okay, so that's the problem with that lineup. It doesn't actually uh, protect everything. So, okay, Laurel is uh, down. So. Yeah, once the two doesn't have her out, things uh, start to look a bit different. Okay, one another round. Next one is gonna be the big guys, and Zilito's out is up. Interesting to see how that works. I think he might win this. No, we still do. Then we just have more damage with Silas and Valeria combined. So this is the part that we don't have anything fixed yet, so let me just. Um, We don't have any um, thing prepared because uh, this is the part where we haven't actually gotten any units through here before yet. So, need to make sure that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was what I was concerned about. I think the auto actually triggered Carnelians out by by default, which is not what I wanted. Yeah, I think Carnelian triggering that out really screwed us up, that auto. This guy's gonna clear it for sure. Unfortunate losing at the last round, but yeah, I think that auto screwed us up. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned this that yeah, this guy may, might be holding up a cheesy line up, and yeah, it is truly the case. What would the queen think of us? So let's do this again, but this time we pop um, Salazar's out. Oh no, because it was a defeat, it got refreshed instantly, so we can't even try fighting that guy again. But yeah, let's see who else. Okay, this guy has chaotic lineup, same as me. I don't know. All these guys look pretty strong as well. You can try, just to make sure that Canadian doesn't do her out. I don't want that auto to be doing that. It's not what we intend to do, so. You can see as a HP goes down, yeah, damage goes up tremendously. 170,000 per hit. Okay, that's nice. I'm just gonna stop the auto from now on. Because I'm gonna do this manually. Okay, nice. So far so good. Just need to pop silences out next. I want to pop uh, Salazar's out, but yeah. Okay, nice. Got it in time. Is that a victory? Oh no. And there we go with the issue again. That Canadian will pop her out automatically next, and then yeah, we, we just get screwed over again.
But that's been a long enough video showcasing Carnelian and how to actually use her in um, uh, Arena. I think she's going to be superb in single target as well, but you can see that her value is just making sure that Valeria is kept at 30% um, HP at all times, which brings her damage up from 60 to 170,000. And not only that, uh, Valeria's out, which normally causes her to die. When she takes damage, um, where was it? Yeah, when she takes fatal damage, she dies after her ultimate ends. But with Carnelian, that doesn't happen. She just enters the unyielding state, and you have to put the soul essence up on her again. So, yeah, I mean, let's just showcase gear as we're at it. Silas, Whirlwind set, Inferno Raw, and then these are the sets. I do have him at A1, so. With his ultimate, damage uh, does go up quite a bit as well, because there's 100 extra attack speed. This is Salazar on the uh, Soulbound, Arcana and Whirlwind set. I do have a crit rate uh, ring, sorry, uh, ancient ring that I want to level up tomorrow, see what do we roll on this, and maybe I'll swap this over and you'll be dealing a lot more damage. And then this is Valeria. Whirlwind and Inferno Raw, same as Silas. Gun is on a inside stat, I think. With Annihilating Might. He's not, he's not meant to deal damage in the first place. He just has a lot of defense to tank through things. And this is Carnelian. Um, this attack base healing, so I equipped her with a, a Warlord set with attack speed. And I did put an attack speed uh, amulet on her because I want her to heal more often. But she doesn't have to heal to the uh, fullest extent because um, she does keep it below 30% anyways. But yeah, this is what I found to be useful on her so far. And I found this artifact quite fitting on her that, you know, her healing multiplier goes up when she heals a hero with less than 30% HP, which is what she does, essentially. So yeah, I've gone on quite long enough about this hero. I mean, we also played a bit with Arena, seeing how things go, and yeah, I really uh, enjoyed finding that new lineup that works better. It was a shame that we lost that um, second last fight, because Carnelian popped her out too early on, so yeah, but okay, we learned this lessons from time to time, and hopefully if you put Carnelian, you can put her in, uh, into good use in the same way that we've done so. But that's it for the video guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and also comment down if you have any questions below, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye!